Thank you, President Burwell, Dean Wilkins, faculty, staff, my family, my friends, the brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Thank you. Without you all, I wouldn't be standing up here today. Now, to my fellow graduates. Apathy is the root of all evil. That is what my AP government and politics teacher told my peers and I on our first day of school. He said this because he believed that if our generation didn't shape up, get involved, and make our voices heard, then our democracy would perish. Now, I understand who I'm speaking to. I'm speaking to the graduates of American University, who just last year were ranked the most politically active students in America. Oh yeah, we know how to make our voices heard. Whether it was my time on the Black Student Alliance when we protested the racist acts against black women, to students who brought to light the mistreatment of campus employees who make our lives and their families' lives better, to students who just this year protested the rise in tuition because we all believe that education should not lead to life-crippling debt. Now, being ranked the most politically active, what does that mean? Should we take pride in such a title? No, because it means nothing. It means nothing if I go back home to South River, New Jersey, and a friend from high school still believes their vote doesn't matter. It means nothing if you go back to the eastern shore of Maryland and your relative doesn't participate in local politics. It means nothing if we are in our workplace, talking with our coworkers, and we mention gerrymandering, and they look at us and they say, who's Jerry? <laughs> the point that I'm trying to get across is that our democracy is not just built for the most politically active. A democracy is like an airplane. And believe it or not, it takes more than just the pilots to get that plane off the ground. My teacher was right when he said that apathy leads to evil. Because in the Bible, in Ephesians 4.19, it says that they who have become callous have given themselves over to sensuality for the practice of all kinds of impurities. In fact, Socrates even says in the Republic, that we should not blame the uselessness or our, blame our apathy towards our government on our leaders, but we should blame it on those who do not make use of our government. I briefly mentioned the book of Ephesians, and I believe that the scripture that I previously noted would translate to in a democracy, it would mean that in our democracy, those who choose not to use their voices, those who choose not to exercise their vote, those who choose not to use their privilege, choose to give over their nation, their countrymen, themselves over to powerful forces who can turn impurities into policy. With that being said, thank you. With that being said, I want to challenge each and every one of us to take the knowledge from our successes and the lessons from our failures and be true leaders, ones who educate the people, advocate for the people, and protect the people from forces like these. Now more than ever, it is our duty to not let the flame for a better hope, for a better nation within us die. But it is our duty to spread that flame to others, to create a more engaged, more intelligent democratic republic. I say this because if not us, the most politically active students in the nation, then who? 
There are so many challenges that this country is facing, and I believe that we, the most politically active students in America, can bring people together, solve those challenges, and bring our nation into its creed. There is no time to accept apathy or cynicism. Change is in our hands. And I believe that the most powerful change for this nation will only come if the most politically active combine themselves with a new awakening of the masses. I can say that I am very hopeful because I know that right here in Bender Arena, I don't see people who are apathetic. I see people who are ready to bring people together across all differences. I see people that are ready to create and write the policies and the laws of the future. I see people that aren't scared of a little turbulence that may disrupt the path towards justice. I see people that will help land our democracy into the blessings of liberty and the creation of a more perfect union. Now, now it is our time. And it is time that we, the most politically active students, the graduates of American University, sow the seeds that will lead to peace, progress, and prosperity for every American. Thank you, and congratulations to the School of Public Affairs class of 2019.